Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People in Marvel. My wife is the White Queen. Chapter 1. The United States, Massa. In a private estate covering an area of 500 square meters. Li Feng was sitting on the sofa, holding a cigar in his hand, looking at the snow scene outside the French window, the corners of his mouth curled up. This is the 42nd day he has been the owner of this manor, and everything is as usual, and he is in a happy mood. He thinks he is very lucky, because of an accident in his previous life, he came to this world called the Marvel Universe. Unlike the novels he read on the internet, on his first day in the Marvel world, he had nothing and encountered nothing. Whether it is a system, some kind of high technology, or a unique ability. But the only thing that makes him feel lucky is that he has a wife named Emma, nicknamed White Queen. Yes, it was the White Queen who nearly wiped out the X-Men. But at this stage, White Queen does not fully awakening all variant abilities. She is still a plump, protruding, charming, withdrawn and indifferent woman. Definitely, in the city of Massa, White Queen's family background is also very good, because she has a father who is known as, the richest man in Massa. And this 500 square meter manor was given to Li Feng by her father as a wedding foil. Time to eat, sir. A young nanny in a maid skirt came and bowed to Li Feng. Good. Li Feng nodded slightly, put out his cigar, and walked to another living room. In front of the dining table, the White Queen in pajamas is curling up her tender legs, tasting fresh steak. After Li Feng sat down, she raised her willow eyebrows, smiled charmingly, and asked, How did you sleep last night? Everything is fine. Li Feng chuckled, not hiding his greedy eyes at all. Definitely, it would be better if I had you by my side. Hearing this, White Queen couldn't help rolling her eyes, and glared at Li Feng coquettishly. Eat your meal. That being said, the White Queen thoughtfully picked up a piece of steak and gently placed it on Li Feng's plate. Are you still going to the recording site today? Do you need me to ask my father to arrange some bodyguards to accompany you? Although his tone was cold, Li Feng could clearly hear the warmth in it. He raised the corners of his mouth, walked up to White Queen, put his arms around her waist, and said with a smile, you look down on your husband and me so much. Isn't it just to declare post the trailer for Die Hard? Nothing to be nervous about. Then when will you come back? I want you to go to the board of directors with me. The White Queen stared at Li Feng with those beautiful dark blue eyes, and asked lightly. About, about 9 o'clock tonight. Li Feng estimated and responded with a smile. As for the, Die Hard, trailer he mentioned. Since you are a time traveler, you can't accomplish nothing and become a waste who only eats soft food, right? Therefore, he can only be a, second-rate, director in the Marvel world to make some movies that have never appeared in this world. In addition to, Die Hard, he even made several films such as, The Expendables, which made him famous overnight. After all, these movies all existed in Li Feng's memory in his previous life, and he was able to shoot them with ease. I'll go to the hospital first to see my mother. Because White Queen's mother often takes psychotropic drugs, her physical condition is very poor and she often needs to stay in the hospital for treatment. So White Queen usually goes to the hospital to take care of her mother after eating with Li Feng, every day. Etc. Li Feng suddenly put White Queen's waist into his arms, and then looked at her affectionately. What are you doing? The White Queen was taken aback. Two seconds later, the four lips met. Okay, let's go. Li Feng licked the corner of his mouth with a smile, and let go of the White Queen's limp body. On the latter's face, there was a rare blush, making it even more charming. She gave Li Feng a hard look, then turned around, changed her clothes and left. For Li Feng's domineering behavior and actions, the White Queen has experienced countless times. If it were someone else, she would use her unskilled ability to kill the opponent without any hesitation. But in front of Li Feng, she found that she couldn't afford that kind of thought. But the more domineering a person is, the easier it is to be conquered by the domineering. In the city of Massa, what does the identity of the White Queen represent? The daughter of Massa's richest man. The heir in line to the largest trade group in the United States. Because of the mutant, White Queen was abandoned by the elders of the family when she was very young, and was even locked up in a ward controlled by her adoptive mother for a long time. Her first variant, ability, was telepathy, which got her a lot of strange eyes. 
Until the day when Li Feng traveled to this world, she escaped from that ward with the first awakening of her diamond ability, but was exhausted on the way of being hunted down, and fainted in an alley, and was rescued by Li Feng. From then on, the White Queen's cold personality was gradually changed by Li Feng's shamelessness. Thinking of Li Feng's hooligan actions towards her in the morning, White Queen's heart beat a little faster. From birth to now, she has never been molested like this. In the past, as long as other men looked at her more, they would either be killed by the bodyguards sent by their father, or be strangled by her with a mutant ability of telepathy. But for this man Li Feng, she has nothing to do. However, she didn't resist in her heart, instead, she became more and more dependent on Li Feng after getting along these days. After his wife left, Li Feng also changed into a suit and drove a Maserati to the city center. As a second-rate director, it is naturally impossible for Li Feng to only make the film, Die Hard. Which movie in the previous life has he not seen? Men in Black, 123, Mission Impossible, 123,456, Fast and Furious. Wait, wait, countless. As long as he makes these movies one by one, it is possible for him to become the richest man in the United States, let alone a small massa. Therefore, Li Feng's preliminary plan in this world is to become a better director than Mr. Spielberg. At that time, it will be easy to be worth trillions and become a member of the upper class. Today, Li Feng went to a film company to promote the trailer of, Die Hard. He expects to earn around 1 billion for this film. He intends to invest all of the 1 billion yuan in White Queen's business. It's not that White Queen's family business is short of money, but because the moment Li Feng met White Queen, the system suddenly awakened. As long as he makes a movie, the system will reward a lot of items in the movie. The pistol used by the main character in Die Hard. Keanu Reeves' dog. Glasses from Bean Agent. The exclusive car of, Fast and Furious. The helicopter that the protagonist of, Taken, took. Definitely, the system does not always give some useless rewards, and sometimes there are some things that catch Li Feng's eyes. For example, the agent technology in, Ace Agent. The assassination technique of, this killer is not so cold. The memory thinking of, Sherlock. Apocalypse star military commander, Steppenwolf template. Especially the Steppenwolf template, which is why Li Feng dared not to have bodyguards in the city of Massa. Although he has never used the Steppenwolf template, he has watched DC movies and is not worried about any major trouble. After all, at this point in time, Mutant has not yet fully exploded, and Magneto has not appeared, and even the earliest Hulk should still be in the experiment. As for the Titan who claimed to kill half of the cosmic creatures, Li Feng didn't even take it to heart. He just wants to be a salted fish in peace, live happily with his wife Emma, make billions or tens of billions by making movies, and become a world-respected director. As for saving the world, becoming a superhero, how can it be more important than being with your wife? Li Feng is not interested in these at all, nor does he want to participate in various so-called power struggles. However, if the Titan came to Earth to destroy his good life without knowing the reason, he would not mind being the master once, calling the Avengers, and getting rid of him by the way. People don't offend me, I don't offend others. I don't make trouble, but I'm not afraid of it either. This is Li Feng's idea. Thinking of this, Li Feng glanced at the navigation, and he had already reached his destination. He parked the car in the underground parking lot of the movie company, and then walked to the top floor. For the director, the promotional film is a very important link, during which he will have to meet several letting actors, so there is no delay. However, at the moment, dozens of black vans suddenly stopped outside the building, blocking the entire street. In the van, there are strong men wearing black suits and masks. They all have Hydra tattoos on their necks, and their eyes are fierce. One of the leaders held a suppressed submachine gun in his left hand and a photo with an X painted on it in his right hand. The person in the photo is Li Feng. Recently, Massa's nights have not been as peaceful as usual. The more developed the city, the more hidden dangers are hidden in the dark. Not long ago, the leader of the largest gang force in Massa was assassinated by an unknown organization and replaced the leadership of the entire gang. Except for some big shots living in the higher society who knew this, almost no commoner noticed these changes. Because their eyes were all focused on one person. 
Li Feng. With the continuous rise of this talented director, Mass's entertainment circle has almost become more and more interested in this name. Among them is the newly promoted leader of the underground gang in Massa City, Runaway. Soon, Li Feng took the elevator to the top floor of the building. Raibidio Building is the most famous building in the city of Massa. Some celebrity receptions are often held here, and it is a relatively prosperous place, so the investors of Die Hard directly booked this place for publicity. At this point, the reporters and the media have not yet arrived. Li Feng has enough time. He is not in a hurry, but walked out of the elevator slowly. But what surprised him was. The floor in front of him was actually covered with corpses. There were bullet holes visible to the naked eye all over their bodies. In addition, the bodies of these corpses were covered with a thick layer of ice, causing the entire room to be filled with ice cold. What happens? Li Feng frowned, and there was a smell of blood in the air that made him feel uncomfortable. Robbery. Or revenge. When Li Feng was about to call to ask the organizer what was going on, a sharp and piercing scream suddenly came from his ear. He frowned, his intuition told him that something was wrong, but he couldn't tell. At this moment, there was another ear-piercing scream, vaguely accompanied by some kind of suppressed gunshots. Li Feng narrowed his eyes, gave up the idea of calling the police, followed the source of the sound, walked to the entrance of a conference room in the depths, and pushed the door open to enter. Click. When Li Feng entered, he found that the meeting room was full of people. What shocked him was that these people were all wearing submachine guns full of murderous flavor. At the same time, in front of these guys lay two corpses with familiar faces. Li Feng recognized at a glance that they were the two male protagonists in Die Hard, hired by the director team. What the hell? Li Feng's face turned cold instantly. The protagonist of Lao Tzu's movie was slaughtered. What's the situation? He raised his head and stared at the people sitting in the conference room. They were all tall and tall, with indifferent eyes, filling the air with a strong sense of oppression. You, Li Feng, the director of Die Hard. Suddenly, a burly bald man sitting at the top spoke indifferently to Li Feng. There was a strong bandit air about him, his eyes were extremely cold, and there was a looming cold air on his body, which made the surrounding temperature drop by a few points. Li Feng didn't know the purpose of this group of guys, so he nodded coldly without opening his mouth. Our boss said that he wants you to make movies for him for free for the rest of his life. Otherwise, we will kill anyone who dares to accept your movies. Do you have any objections? Hearing this, Li Feng finally realized suddenly. Isn't this just a threat? Still making movies for free for life. When I do good deeds. Li Feng's face immediately darkened, he put his hands on his chest, and said with a sneer, Boss, what are you? What if I don't? Facing this big group of macho men, he didn't have the slightest bit of fear. The group of burly men with guns on their bodies froze for a moment, then laughed wildly, looking at Li Feng with sarcasm and disdain. The bald man in the lead stood up slowly, took out a cigar from his pocket, and pulled out a sharp blade, pressed it against Li Feng's neck, and said with a sneer, it seems that you think don't know the situation. I'll give you two choices, either kneel down and agree to my request, or I'll cut off your limbs and throw them into the river to feed the crocodiles. Or, he kicked the two corpses under his feet, do you want to be killed by me like these two fools? The threat of red fruit. If Li Feng was just an ordinary person, hearing this kind of words, he could only choose to obey. After all, there were nearly 20 submachine guns pointing at him, as well as corpses all over the place. But now Li Feng is not panicking, instead his eyes are even more gloomy. His sharp eyes soon caught sight of the tattoo on the bald man's neck. It seems, from Hydra. Without the slightest bit of fear, Li Feng reached out and pressed the bald man's shoulder. Originally, I was in a good mood today, but you killed the protagonist I invited and ruined my press conference, so, you guys today, I'm in a good mood. Don't even think about leaving. Upon hearing this, the gangsters froze again. What the hell? Did we hear it wrong, or did you say it wrong? Facing so many gun points, shouldn't you immediately kneel down and cry for mercy? What's the situation? Are all directors making movies this kind? Boy, don't be shameless. The bald man gave a grin, and everyone in the conference room stood up. 
But they didn't choose to shoot violently, because the purpose of their coming here was to coerce Li Feng to help them make movies and become their money making tool. Therefore, they did not intend to kill Li Feng. But if this guy is not sensible, they naturally have 10,000 ways to make him unable to survive or die. It seems that you have given up your only chance to survive. Li Feng's face gradually became tense, and murderous intent emerged in his eyes. Time to try out the power of the Steppenwolf template. However, just as he was about to try it out, the elevator was suddenly opened, and a figure wearing tights and a shield on his back rushed out. Captain America. Li Feng was stunned when he saw this man's appearance. When the burly men in front of them saw this figure, fear flashed across their faces, and the bald man raised his gun without any hesitation and said, shoot, and beat these two fools into a sieve for me. Obviously, these guys didn't expect Captain America to break in at this time. Captain America in this period should have just woken up and has not yet created Avengers. As a man of shield, Captain America is definitely a headache for some Hydra elements. Facing Li Feng, an unarmed, second-rate director, the bald men had plenty of ways to torture them. But facing the frozen man Captain America, they must cheer up. As for Li Feng, they didn't care at all. Just a second-rate director. Like this kind of thing, they can find more than a dozen a day. What is it compared to killing Captain America? But what they didn't expect was that Li Feng was the most threatening person in this office. He was already impatient. These guys with Hydra tattoos on their necks ruined his day. Not only did he kill the protagonist he invited, but he even planned to arrest him to make a free movie for the rest of his life. What are you kidding? Stand back, leave this to me. Captain America glanced at Li Feng and gave him a warning wink. But Li Feng ignored him at all. The moment the bullet popped out of the chamber, Li Feng and Captain America turned into a black shadow at the same time, often rushing to both sides with a tacit understanding. However, Li Feng's speed surpassed that of Captain America in an instant. He passed through the densely packed bullets like a ghost, and in an instant came to a strong man, and punched lightly. Die. Click. The skull of this Hydra member was directly shattered. Shit. Seeing this scene, other Hydra members cursed directly and aimed their guns at Li Feng. Only then did they realize that this guy was the biggest problem. But, it was too late. Li Feng has the Steppenwolf template. Although he has never used it, he always has a feeling of endless energy when he is doing certain things. In other words, Li Feng has all the attributes of Steppenwolf's body. Even if he meets the Hulk in his heyday, Li Feng can easily deal with it. What are these ordinary people with guns? At such a close distance, it is simply a dream to injure Li Feng only by these bullets with kinetic energy. Boom, boom, boom. After several piercing tearing air sounds, the meeting room was covered with blood and corpses. Except for the bald man who was covered in cold air, no one survived. Li Feng stood on the table, wiped his fists, and looked at the bald man with indifferent eyes. Next second, the bald man's body was covered with a layer of ice picks, which dropped the temperature in the entire meeting room. This is, a mutant. Captain America exclaimed. Unfortunately, you all have to die here. The bald man sneered, and the icy cold air of the manipulator rushed towards Li Feng. Unexpectedly, I can also meet mutant here. Li Feng murmured to himself, not in a panic, but lightly raised five fingers, and shook them in the air. Moment. A deep purple lightning flashed out and turned into an incomparably huge axe, forcibly splitting the bald man who had turned into an ice pick into two halves. After the blood flickered, everything calmed down. The bald man's eyes were full of fear, as if he saw a demon. Is this the power of the wasteland axe? Li Feng raised the corner of his mouth secretly, and slightly retracted his fingers. The experience of the Steppenwolf template is not bad. You, don't move. Hearing this voice, Li Feng turned his head slowly. The Captain America, who came temporarily from S.H.I.E.L.D., picked up the gun on the ground at some point and pointed it at him. You're going to do something to me. Chris, you know me. Captain America shrank his pupils and paused suddenly. I don't want to cause trouble, and I don't want to find enemies for myself. If you're sensible, clean up this place in the name of S.H.I.E.L.D. I know these guys are from Hydra, take the credit, don't say my name, don't investigate me, or I will find you, and then. Smash your head off with one punch. 
After dropping these few words, Li Feng turned into a black shadow, flashed past Captain America, and disappeared directly. He didn't want to reveal his identity, because it would definitely attract the attention of S.H.I.E.L.D. But this doesn't mean that if trouble comes to him, he will stand by and succumb. If some people who are tired of their jobs want to come to him, he will never hold back, let alone show any mercy. Following Li Feng's disappearance, Captain America discovered that his back was drenched in cold sweat. He opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but nothing came out. This guy, in the end is how to solve these gangsters. Why do you know my real identity? Looking at the gangsters lying around with broken skulls, Captain America sighed. Li Feng's metamorphosis actually made him feel instinctively terrified. This should not happen to an agent. Unexpectedly, this second-rate director actually has a side beyond cognition. Captain America murmured softly. Before coming to this building, he received a message from S.H.I.E.L.D. Originally, he came to protect Li Feng. But unexpectedly, Li Feng protected him. After a while, Captain America took out his mobile phone, made a call, and said softly, Director, I have encountered some trouble here, and, something you are interested in. At the same time, after Li Feng quietly solved the troubles in the building, a black van stopped at the door of the villa where he lived. A neon countryman was sitting in the van. He was wearing a silver katana, and there was a faint touch of silver flowing in the meridians of his arms. Silver Samurai, one of the mutants. In fact, the bald mutant who attacked Li Feng earlier, including this mutant who squatted outside the villa in advance, were all newly promoted underground leaders of Massa City, sent by the Rampage. Their real purpose is not to coerce Li Feng into becoming their free labor. But for, kidnap the daughter of Massa's richest man. To this end, the runaway made a very comprehensive plan. First, he intends to use Li Feng to intimidate the White Queen. Secondly, he will use the White Queen's life to force Massa's richest man to give up all the entertainment industry in order to expand his territory. Rampage believes that as long as he catches Li Feng, he will not be afraid that the White Queen will not submit. Because according to his investigation, the only person White Queen is close to is Li Feng. Indeed, there is nothing wrong with the idea of running away. But he hadn't expected the White Queen's other identity at all. When the Silver Warrior saw the plump woman enter the villa with his own eyes, a strong desire flashed in his eyes. With a wave of his hand, he ordered all the killers in the car to sneak into the periphery of the villa and kill them. The bodyguards stationed outside the flower beds of the villa. These bodyguards are all arranged by White Queen's father. Although they are not the top of the United States, they are all mercenaries. It's just that these bodyguards are still too immature compared to the mutant Silver Warriors. After the battle was easily resolved, the Silver Warrior broke into the living room with five killers with cold eyes. However, the White Queen changed into her tight pajamas as expected, sat on the sofa, and looked at these cold-blooded guys indifferently. Hello, Emma. The leading Silver Warrior put away Katana and smiled at the White Queen. You are welcome, my friends, would you like a drink? The White Queen greeted these killers with a charming smile. She had already discovered the existence of these people through telepathy and learned that Li Feng was in trouble. But she is not worried. This is the city of Massa, her father's territory. If there is anything wrong with Li Feng, she will find everyone and kill them. I'd love to have a drink with you if you'd take your shirt off. The silver warrior grinned, and directly pulled out the katana in his hand. He didn't intend to talk too much nonsense. The rampage only gave him two hours. If the time is up and the White Queen is not caught, but the richest man in Massa City sends someone to support him, then this operation will be considered a failure. What are the consequences of failure? Everyone will die. He doesn't want to die. Take away. The Silver Warrior waved his hand, and the two killers walked directly towards the White Queen, taking out the silver cuffs from his body at the same time. It would definitely be a great achievement if he could catch the White Queen himself. When the time comes to satisfy the runaway boss, they will all have rewards. Seeing that these killers were about to touch him, White Queen's eyes were full of indifference. She gently raised her tender white hand, and suddenly pinched it in front of her. Whoosh! In the palm of his hand, he shot a sharp diamond arrow, instantly piercing through the heads of the two killers. 
The two killers were still immersed in the rewards after completing the mission, and they were instantly killed by this diamond-shaped sharp arrow. The sudden change made the remaining killers dumbfounded. The White Queen crossed her arms, stood up slowly under the sluggish gazes of the killers, and said solemnly, I haven't used this ability to kill people for a long time. You should feel honored. Finished. Her whole body turned into a crystal clear diamond body, which looked especially beautiful and dazzling under the bright sun. No matter how stupid these killers were, they still reacted, and fear burst out of their eyes. You. Dot you are a mutant. Telepathy, diamond form. Yes. This is White Queen. After remembering the power of mutant, several killers panicked. Next second, they directly raised the assault rifles on their bodies, no longer caring about capturing the White Queen's order alive, and directly pulled the trigger. If they don't do this, they will die themselves. No one spared their lives. What about mutants? Under the 5.56 caliber bullet, no matter how powerful the mutant is, it will be smashed into a sieve, right? However, what they didn't expect was that the White Queen simply dismissed these almost toy-like firearms. The bullets from the tearing air sounds hit her body, but they all turned into dust. How powerful is the diamond form White Queen? Not only is her body invulnerable, but she can also withstand the blows of huge forces without even feeling tired, and she doesn't need water and food supplements. She can even be immune to the mental attacks of the most powerful telepaths among the mutants. Two seconds later, countless densely packed sharp drill blades floated out of thin air from beside the White Queen. The killing intent exploded. These killers could no longer control the fear in their hearts, screamed and pulled the trigger. However, nothing works. Die. The White Queen waved lightly. The drill blade shot out, like Death God's sickle, piercing the heads of several killers without stopping. Only the Silver Samurai remained. Are you a mutant too? White Queen propped up her chin gracefully, and said coldly, I feel it. You guessed it right. The Silver Warrior grinned, his arms instantly turned into silver metal, and the katana in his hand merged with his five fingers. He made a gesture commonly used by warriors, and said, Pray, I swear it will make you happy next time. As soon as the voice fell, the Silver Warrior exploded and shot towards the White Queen. However, the moment he approached the White Queen, her diamond form slowly disappeared, she just stretched out a finger, and pressed the silver warrior's forehead. Next second, the silver warrior was startled suddenly, his face became extremely dull, and he lost his combat power in an instant. What do I ask you, what do you answer? White Queen said coldly, who sent you here? The silver samurai replied blankly, Rampage, the underground emperor of the gangsters in Massa City. White Queen asked again, how is my husband Li Feng now? Silver Warrior replied, I don't know, we will act in two groups. White Queen nodded lightly, and flicked her slender fingers again. The Silver Warrior fell to the ground, brain dead. White Queen's telepathy is just as powerful as the diamond form. Not only can she use this ability to read other people's thoughts and memories, but she can also forcibly modify the other person's memory, control their thinking, perform mental shielding, and even connect the minds of multiple people, using telepathy to put the victim in an unconscious state of sleep. Overall, among all mutants, White Queen's telepathy ability is second only to Professor X. In the end, all the killers who broke into the villa died in the hands of White Queen. She stretched, and then used the diamond ability to clean up the corpses. For now, she doesn't want Li Feng to be exposed to the fact that she is a mutant so early. After all, in her eyes, Li Feng is just an ordinary person now. Definitely, Li Feng didn't know that his wife had been attacked by another group of killers. At the moment, he had just walked out of a high-end clothing store on the street, holding brand new clothes that had cost hundreds of thousands of yuan in his hand. This is Li Feng's habit, every time he goes home, he will bring a gift to the White Queen. In his eyes, this is called freshness. Although given the White Queen's family background, any clothes you want can be tailored by a well-known tailor with just a few words. But every time Li Feng buys clothes, she will take them seriously and wear them to go out. The new European style dresses on the shelves this time look pretty good, and my wife will be very happy to receive them. While humming, Li Feng stuffed the clothes into the back seat of his Maserati. In his eyes, White Queen tends to be perfect both in facial features and figure, 
She is absolutely plump and plump, and there is a rare vixen in every gesture. Therefore, the more clothes that can highlight the figure, the more suitable for her. Before Li Feng chose clothes for her, she basically wore some simple casual clothes, completely covering up her figure. Li Feng, who was about to drive home, didn't know that he had attracted the attention of countless people. In response to Li Feng's arrogance in the building, all of Li Feng's private information has been displayed on the big screen at the Shield headquarters in New York City. And in front of the big screen, director Nick Fury, Detective Phil Coulson, and Captain America, who just came back, look brooding. It seems that there is nothing special about it. A second-rate director who makes movies, is he really that fierce? Captain America said, When I first met him, I thought so too, but after he killed those Hydra elements in the conference room, I was completely dumbfounded. Nick Fury nodded and asked, Have any of you met this person in real life? Detective Phil Coulson hesitated for a moment, then said, I've seen it. Last time he filmed The Expendables 3, I went to the scene. The Expendables 3 was also filmed by him. Nick Fury was taken aback for a moment. As agents, they are particularly sensitive to this kind of subject matter. After all, who wouldn't want their career to be made into a movie? Every scene in, The Expendables 3 inches is almost in line with the scene when they perform their tasks. It's just that what Nick Fury doesn't understand is why Li Feng, an ordinary guy, would take the boat of the daughter of the richest man in Massa. Don't look at the current Li Feng who is hailed as the action film director of the new century, but in the eyes of the richest man in Massa, he is still no different from an ordinary person, right? I've seen the richest man in Massa, he is a proud and conceited man. Nick Fury flicked the cigarette ash in his hand, and said in a deep voice, based on his appearance alone, there is nothing unusual about Li Feng, how could you be attracted by Emma, the daughter of Massa's richest man? Director, Detective Phil Coulson seemed to remember something, and he slid his palm on the big screen, and several photos of the hospital ward appeared, and said, I found out that the daughter of the richest man in Massa was locked up in a according to gossip, she may be one of the mutants. Mutant. Nick Fury frowned, could it be that Li Feng is also a mutant, that's why they came together. Don't know, Phil Coulson replied. You go to contact the two of them, if you can, gain their trust, and bring them in. Yes. Phil Coulson froze for a moment, without asking why. Usually when encountering such incidents, S.H.I.E.L.D. will investigate for a period of time before making a decision to recruit or kill them. But this time, Director Nick didn't do that. This is obviously different from usual. But Phil Coulson doesn't ask on his own initiative, he knows his position clearly. Just a small detective, not yet qualified to ask the director's decision. By the way, Phil Coulson, Nick Fury stopped him suddenly, and said, if you can't recruit this guy named Li Feng, don't worry, I always feel that he is more mysterious than we imagined. Quote. Yes. Phil Coulson nodded, and left. At the same time. The United States, Kentucky Fried Chicken. The newly established mutant school, the Brainwave Augmentation Laboratory. Professor X took off the Brainwave Augmentation helmet, and whispered to the X-Men member beast behind him. I found it, in Massa City. Did she use her ability again? Beast took a deep breath and said, Are we going to stop it, Professor? No, the time hasn't come yet. Professor X shook his head slightly and said, There are many mutants hidden in Massa City. Just now, I saw two new mutants, but they all died after ten minutes. The brainwave signal disappeared, and I couldn't see anything. Someone's killing mutant. Beast said tensely, Is that the Magneto guy? No, it's not him. Professor X still shook his head and said, Hancock, I suspect that a new mutant has appeared, but my brain waves cannot detect his existence. What? Beast said with a face full of shock, there is, an existence that you can't perceive. That man is very powerful. Professor X murmured with a serious face, I'm worried that he will become an uncontrollable existence like Magneto, and mutant will be in danger by then. Maybe, we can try to contact him. Beast stroked his chin and said, let Wolverine go. Don't worry, I'll try to monitor his brainwaves. If he is a mutant, maybe I can talk to him directly. Professor X took a deep breath and put on the brainwave amplifier again. The light in the entire laboratory dimmed. Star-like lights flickered one by one, and countless pictures flickered in Professor X's mind. Massa City. 
As soon as he'd parked the Maserati, Li Feng felt a flash of pain in his head. He frowned slightly, but soon saw the pretty figure of the White Queen not far away, so he didn't care, and ran towards her. Honey, I'm back. Massa City, private villa. As usual, Li Feng hugged White Queen's face and kissed her, then handed her the clothes he bought, and said with a smile, My lord, I promise you will like the clothes I bought this time, quickly open them and have a look. Which one of the clothes you bought didn't I like? White Queen glanced at him, but when she took out some clothes and saw a few low-cut dresses, she couldn't help but shamefully said, You, this. This is too revealing. Put it on and have a look. Li Feng urged with a chuckle. The White Queen glared at him, but did not refuse, took off her pajamas in front of Li Feng, and put on a new dress, making her charming temperament even more charming. Look, the perfect proportion. Li Feng looked up and down recklessly, hugged the White Queen's waist into his arms, and gently stroked the slender waist with his fingers, husband chose well, right? Hum, White Queen hummed softly, her legs felt a little weak, but she didn't break free. For some reason, she always felt that she was very conservative in front of Li Feng. By the way, the announcement of, die hard, has encountered some troubles. I have to tell the investors that two protagonists have been murdered. Li Feng suddenly remembered something and said. He didn't intend to tell the White Queen what happened just now, if he let her know that he had someone who overthrew the abilities of a dozen Hydra members, things would be difficult. Didn't you promise me to go shopping with me? White Queen broke free from his arm and snorted coldly. Hem. Li Feng paused, looked around the villa, and said, then I'll ask the bodyguard outside to inform. Wait, White Queen shook her head and said, I don't want to go shopping anymore, you should make a phone call first. The bodyguards in the villa were all killed by the killer brought by the Silver Warrior, she didn't want Li Feng to be suspicious for no reason. Good. Li Feng nodded, took out his mobile phone, and called the investor. Soon, the other party responded, claiming that S.H.I.E.L.D. will take full responsibility for this matter, and the announcement of, die hard, was changed to two days later. Li Feng has no objection to this, presumably Captain America must have come forward to solve this trouble, so he doesn't need to worry too much. After hanging up the phone, Li Feng turned around and took a look at the White Queen in the living room. The white and tender skin flashed through the gap in the collar, and her two straight long legs, and she matched it with the clothes she picked out by herself. All of a sudden, I felt my nose was dry and hot. Why are you staring at me like that? The White Queen glanced at Li Feng with her tear-marked glasses, but instead of avoiding it, she put her straight legs on the table to see everything in sight. Li Feng chuckled, rushed towards the White Queen, and said with a smile, My lord, since you don't want to go shopping, let's find something else to do. What's up? The White Queen blushed, glared at him, and tried to push away, but her whole body was powerless. Hey hey. As soon as the words fell, Li Feng picked up the White Queen and rushed into the bedroom with both feet. Two days later, early in the morning, while eating the breakfast that White Queen made herself, Li Feng admired her flushed cheeks. During these two days, the two of them could be said to have never even stepped out of the door. They just stayed in the bedroom for two full days. As for what to do, I understand everything. With a gentle smile on his face, Li Feng rubbed White Queen's unconsciously weak legs, causing the latter to stare coquettishly. Although this wife with a knife mouth and a bean curd heart said no, her body was honest and terrifying. After two days of tossing, I still have the energy to make breakfast for him by myself. If the system hadn't made Li Feng's body much stronger, he probably wouldn't even have the strength to walk. After finishing breakfast, the White Queen stood up, straightened Li Feng's collar, and said softly, Come back early tonight, I have learned some good dishes recently, if you come back late, you won't be able to eat them. Quote. Don't worry, my wife. Li Feng kissed her forehead and said with a smile, Tonight. I promise you won't be able to get out of bed. That's what you said last time. White Queen folded her hands on her chest, raised the corners of her mouth, and stretched out her fingers to scratch Li Feng's face with a hint of sarcasm. See you at night, if you have any troubles, please call me, I will let my father send someone to solve it. Good. Li Feng smiled slightly, turned and left. In order to better promote the publicity of, Die Hard, the investors decided to hold the premiere directly today. As the director, Li Feng had to attend a singing reception at the scene. 
In this reception, not only well-known directors in the industry were invited, but also many high society celebrities came to join in. Although all this is due to the arrogance of the investors, the social impact brought about by Li Feng's filming of The Expendables 123 cannot be ruled out. Soon, Li Feng came to the top floor of the building as usual. The difference from last time was that many people had already gathered in the hall at this time. As the director of the film, Li Feng was invited by the organizer to come on stage and say a few words before being surrounded by the media. Director Li Feng, I heard that you plan to make some espionage-like films in the future, can you tell us the specific plot? Mr. Li Feng, what do you think as a director about the murder of the leading actor? Is it related to your personal vendetta? Mr. Li Feng, as a director of the new generation of action films, I heard that you have merged the two positions of director and screenwriter. How do you maintain a balance between the two? Countless questions came overwhelming, but Li Feng was not flustered, he had already made preparations before coming, so his answers were all fluent. After the interview, most of the guests went to watch the premiere, while Li Feng came backstage alone, planning to eat some delicious buffet. But at this moment, his eyes suddenly saw a familiar face. Phil Coulson of S.H.I.E.L.D. Why did this guy come to his press conference? Could it be? Li Feng hurriedly turned his back to avoid his discovery. As a veteran worker in the Marvel world, Phil Coulson's popularity in Li Feng's heart is too great. As long as this guy appears in any scene, nothing good will happen in that scene. It is not difficult to guess that Phil Coulson is here, probably because of Captain America's return to S.H.I.E.L.D. Just as Li Feng was thinking about how to leave early, Phil Coulson suddenly walked towards him with a glass of wine. Mr. Li Feng, a genius director in the 21st century, has been famous for a long time. Phil Coulson held out his glass, nodded to Li Feng with a smile, and showed his ID, my name is Phil Coulson, and I'm from the National Security Investigations Agency. Faced with this familiar way of greeting, Li Feng was expressionless, but a murderous intent emerged in his heart, which made the surrounding temperature seem to drop a lot. He would be very angry if S.H.I.E.L.D. were to intervene in his life at this time. But if you pretend you don't know anything, it may cause even bigger troubles. After thinking for a few seconds, Li Feng decided to adapt. Oh, what's the matter? Li Feng nodded lightly, not intending to toast in return. Phil Coulson withdrew his hand in embarrassment. No matter how stupid he was, he could see that Li Feng didn't seem to welcome him, but he didn't care too much. In this line of work, it's very common to meet such famous people, and it's very difficult to be underestimated, normal thing. He whispered, you should still remember what happened here two days ago. We have received a tip that the largest gang group in Massa City has already targeted you, so could you please provide us with some information about this. News, the National Security Investigations Service may guarantee your safety. Hearing this, Li Feng knew it was not easy to get away today. He took a deep breath and tried his best to calmly say, I have already warned Captain America, but he still didn't listen to me. Phil Coulson froze immediately, and asked tentatively, Chris told me, you seem to know him. Does it matter if you know him or not? Li Feng sneered and said, Phil Coulson, as a small agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., you should be a smart person. I don't like talking nonsense to smart people. What's the matter, you just say it. Phil Coulson was speechless for a moment, he didn't expect that Li Feng even knew that he was a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. It seems that this guy in front of him is definitely not an ordinary person. He thought for a few seconds before seriously saying, Mr. Li Feng, as you think, I am indeed a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. The purpose of my coming here is to find out why you have some powers that normal people cannot control. Quote. Definitely, maybe you'll be offended by my rude question, but that's okay. Because throughout the United States, S.H.I.E.L.D. has absolute control over the territory, and we are independent of other governments, even the White House. We are committed to finding and protecting every strong person who is different from ordinary people, and you are one of them. If you are willing to cooperate with me, we'd better find a quiet place to talk, maybe you will be interested in joining S.H.I.E.L.D. After speaking, Phil Coulson habitually shook his shoulders, waiting for Li Feng's response. Oh. I'm not interested. Li Feng refused without any thought. What are you kidding? Lao Su is living a happy life now, his wife is caring, and he has no worries about eating and drinking. 
In just a few years, he will become a top director, be famous and worth trillions. Why join Shield? Too busy. Mr. Li Feng, you'd better think about it before giving me an answer. The smile on Phil Coulson's face gradually faded, and he said, as you can see, Shield has strongholds all over the world. People like you, more or less have some rebellious mentality, and we have many ways to solve such troubles. After all, no civilian in any country wants to be threatened by some uncontrollable factors, what do you think? What do you mean? Li Feng's face turned cold, killing intent emerged, you're threatening me. No, no, I'm just stating some facts. Phil Coulson shook his head slightly and said, I just want to tell you that there are actually quite a few people like you. As he spoke, Phil Coulson took out a mobile phone, pulled out videos and photos, put them in front of Li Feng, and said, Look, this is a physicist from the state next door to Massa, and after being exposed to gamma rays for a while, he mutated into a green monster. And this guy in a red bodysuit with a spider tattoo on his chest, gliding between the buildings in Nukem, amazing, isn't it? And this one, the guy who can summon thunder and lightning with a hammer in his hand. When I saw the video for the first time, I almost peed my pants. There's even this, guy with steel all over his body. Their kind call him, Colossus, and he can't be harmed by any projectile type of thermal weapon, not even grenades. Here, the guy who can stretch out a few iron claws from his hand, have you noticed that he looks like a wolf? The longing eyes are very charming. Look, Phil Coulson smiled, put away his phone, and said, Mr. Li Feng, as I said just now, there are actually quite a few people like you. If one day, you can work with them, isn't that a good temptation? Li Feng's eyes were indifferent, and he still had no intention of speaking. But he knew that from the moment Phil Coulson took out these photos and videos, it meant that the Marvel world was officially on the right track. If it were someone else who traveled through time, he might join S.H.I.E.L.D. immediately, and then pretend to be aggressive with Avengers and fight monsters. But at this time, he only wanted to make movies and become a world-renowned director. There is no risk, and no life is required. Seeing that Li Feng didn't answer himself, Phil Coulson took out a business card from his pocket and handed it over, saying, Mr. Li Feng, this is my phone number, if you think it over, you can call me. No need. Li Feng put his hands in his pockets, turned around lightly, and left a few words. Phil Coulson, I don't want to get in trouble or have anything to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. Saving the world, saving humanity is not for me. I just want to be a big director. If these people in the video want to be the protagonist of my movie, I can let them contact me. I guarantee the pay will satisfy them. But, if you and the shield behind you want to control me, or destroy my life. I promise, you will regret it. The threat in the tone was extremely strong. Watching Li Feng's gradually disappearing figure, Phil Coulson took a deep breath, pressed the communicator behind his ear, and said in a low voice, Director, did you hear what he said just now? After a long time, only then did Nick Fury's thick voice come back from the headset. Well, I heard that, this is a strong guy. Phil Coulson sighed and said helplessly, it's not easy. I have to say that in Phil Coulson's impression, Li Feng is definitely an extremely difficult person. In fact, in the conversation just now, he has already used both soft and hard, whether it is a request or a threat. But Li Feng, just don't eat oil and salt. Make it clear that you don't want to be part of S.H.I.E.L.D. So there are only two options. Or, erase this uncontrollable factor. Or, think of another way to force Li Feng to join. Phil Coulson pondered suddenly, Director. We have found out that the father of Li Feng's wife, who is also the richest man in Massa City, has been very restless in recent years. Maybe we can start with him. You mean, knock on the richest man in Massa City to make Li Feng obey? Nick Fury squinted his eyes and said in a deep voice, I hope it works, let's leave this matter for now, you arrange people to watch Li Feng, don't let him cause any trouble, and leave the rest to me. Yes. Phil Coulson hung up the phone. Shield, headquarters. Fury stared at Li Feng's photo with his falcon-like eyes, and at the same time, he swiped a surveillance video. In the video, the corners of Li Feng's mouth curled up, turning into a black shadow, approaching a gangster in an instant, and smashing his skull with his bare hands. At the same time, the picture freezes at the scene where Li Feng raises one hand and uses, air, to kill the ice-covered mutant. 
This level of lethality is comparable to Captain America. Fury took a deep breath, a look of shock in his eyes. He actually doesn't care about Li Feng's indifferent personality. What he cares more about is this person's ability. All aspects of the ability it displays are very similar to the Captain America when it first woke up. If he cannot be lured to shield, there will probably be more uncontrollable factors in the future. Thinking of this, Nick Fury stopped hesitation, and said to the assistant beside him, call out the personal information and phone number of the richest man in Massa City, let me chat with him, the call process must be kept confidential. Yes, the assistant nodded slightly. Ten seconds later, the call was connected. Soon, the phone was connected, and a steady voice came from the phone. Hello, this is my personal phone number, who are you? My name is Nick Fury, and I am the director of the National Security Investigation Bureau. Your son-in-law Li Feng has been targeted by us. You must listen to every word I say next. Nick Fury said quickly without any nonsense. We know that you have bribed officials 36 times in Massa City, 25 commercial falsehoods of planting and framing, and 65 unfair market practices, and your company has so far there's still a business that launders money. I know everything about you, down to how many boyfriends your mistress has had, how many rich men she's slept with. There was silence on the other end of the phone for a long time before a dry word came back. What do you want me to do? It's very simple. Nick Fury said with the corners of his lips curled up, I want you to come up with something that troubles your son-in-law, such as a bad movie at the box office, or bumping into a wall during filming, etc., as long as it makes him not want to continue making movies. Thoughts, that's fine. The other end of the phone seemed a little unbelievable. It's that simple. Definitely, it's even more complicated. Nick Fury sneered and said, let your daughter leave Li Feng. It's, I can't make a decision, my daughter never likes to listen to me. Then do as I say. After speaking, Nick Fury hung up the phone directly. The situation is much simpler than imagined, and the richest man in Massa City shows no signs of unwillingness to cooperate. This is not surprising. After all, S.H.I.E.L.D. is the most high-level special department in the United States. Even the personal safety of the president needs them to supervise. What is the richest man in a small city of Massa? Although White Queen's father is the richest man in Massa City, he is also considered to be a semi-influential political figure, and he can almost break a hole in Massa City with a single sentence. But he was still nothing in front of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's why Nick Fury dared to be so direct and bold. The person on the other end of the phone obviously knew this fact, so after being silent, he still gave in. At the same time, Li Feng was sitting in the seat of the premier, sipping wine lightly, recalling the previous conversation with Phil Coulson. A large part of the reason why his attitude is so decisive is because he doesn't want to be ruined by S.H.I.E.L.D. His happy life. If the S.H.I.E.L.D. guy wants to force his way in, he doesn't mind getting everything sorted out. With the ability of the Steppenwolf template, trying to deal with S.H.I.E.L.D. that has not yet formed Avengers is like eating and drinking water. However, it is worth mentioning the few clips that Phil Coulson showed himself just now. The recovery of the Marvel World heralds the coming disaster of the whole Earth. There is a saying that troubled times make heroes. This is also Li Feng's idea. But this hero is not the hero who saves the world. But, Li Feng raised the corner of his mouth, if in the next time, he recreates most of the important events that happened in the Marvel world through filming. Then his worth will soar wildly in a short period of time. Enough to soar to what extent? The whole of the United States, and indeed the world, will be proud to have seen his films. At that time, the profit he will get will not be just tens of billions, trillions, it's as simple as that. Even, he can set up another, Marvel movie universe, in the Marvel world. As long as he succeeds, he can make money while lying down, and even lead his wife to live a shameless life. Thinking of this, Li Feng took out his mobile phone from his pocket and called Feynman, the manager of the director team. For The Expendables 123, he put together a studio team, and Feynman was the first agent he hired, and ability was great. Hey, old man, I have something to trouble you, is it convenient? Go ahead, boss. I'm going to start a new movie company called Marvel Studios, Inc. Marvel. What a unique name, how much do you need to invest? Put all the funds in the account into it, and after the release of, Die Hard, 
All the people in the studio will be merged into the company. All funds. Boss, what do you want to do? In the future, you will understand. Li Feng hung up the phone and immersed himself in his grand plans. In Massa City, an underground boxing arena is holding a fiery match with odds of 1, 5. But at the scene, there was only one person sitting in the largest seat of the auditorium. He was thin, with blonde hair, wearing a black tights, with a faint smell of cigars on his body, and he was staring greedily at the two fighters on the boxing ring. He called, Runaway. The new underground emperor of Massa City is also the host of this black boxing arena. Before he officially ascended the throne, the old underground emperor of Massa City had controlled Massa City for decades. But with the appearance of Rampage, the city of Massa has completely changed. At this time, Rage suddenly stood up, walked to the center of the boxing ring, waved his hand impatiently, causing the two boxers to roll aside, and then said indifferently, bring it up. In a minute, two gangsters came up carrying a blonde man covered in blood and threw him to the ground. It's been a long time since I've done anything to my subordinates. Rampage smiled grimly, and pressed the blonde man's head with five fingers. You know, I'm afraid of trouble, and I don't like dealing with government people. But I like money, I like lots of money, so I take your advice. But the consequence of doing this is that I was targeted by people from S.H.I.E.L.D. just after I arrived in Massa City. Do you know how much trouble this will cause me? The voice fell. There was a click. One arm of the blonde man was pinched off by the violent one-handed man, and he let out a horrible cry, his body trembling, and kept begging for mercy. Boss, no. Don't. I was wrong. I shouldn't have given you money. This bad idea. No, you're right, it's me who's wrong, I've listened to your advice stupidly. Said violently in a cold tone, anyone can hear the anger contained in his tone. As for the poor guy kneeling on the ground, he was the mastermind who proposed to kidnap Li Feng and White Queen to threaten the richest man in Massa City. Originally, this plan was considered to be foolproof, and even in order to achieve the goal, Rampage sent his two capable generals, Iceman and Silver Warrior. But no one could have imagined that Li Feng and White Queen would kill them immediately. That's not what made Rampage so angry. The death of the two mutants meant nothing to him. The real trouble is that S.H.I.E.L.D. took over the latter. This means that Rampage can no longer continue to do what he wants to do as he pleases. No gangster wants to be targeted by S.H.I.E.L.D., and neither does Mutant. Just at the moment, at the entrance of the underground black boxing arena, two figures suddenly appeared. One of them has a human face with a wolf beard, sharp eyes, and a strong figure. The other one was sitting in a wheelchair with a calm face like a pool of stagnant water. When Rampage saw these two faces, his eyes shrank suddenly, his whole body tensed up, and he squinted and said, X-Men. What are you doing here? Give you a warning. Professor X took out a photo of Li Feng and White Queen from his pocket, and threw it in front of the Rampage. From now on, don't make trouble with these two people, otherwise the X-Men will regard you as an enemy and tear you into pieces. Wolverine took over the right to speak, her tone extremely indifferent. What if I say no? Runaway's face twitched, and he responded sternly. This isn't the first time he's had issues with the X-Men. As a mutant, he definitely knows what the existence of the X-Men represents. You have no choice, Professor X said lightly. It seems that you must think that I am easy to provoke. Rampage grinned grimly and snapped his fingers. Around the black boxing arena, nearly 30 or 40 half-naked strong men slowly walked out, full of oppressive aura. Whoosh! Wolverine raised her hands violently, six claws cut through the space, and let out a whine. Just when he was about to rush forward, Professor X reached out his hand to stop him, raised his head and said calmly, Rampage, you mean, you are going to fight against the X-Men. No boss likes to be threatened. Runaway said viciously, especially, in his own field. Threat. Professor X raised the corner of his mouth in a rare way, and said sharply, No, no, we are not threatening, but, warning. The voice fell. He suddenly raised five fingers and pinched out of thin air. Buzz buzz. Immediately, everyone in the black boxing arena held their heads and screamed in pain. A terrifying telepathy spread in the brains of these people, tearing their brain cells. But the scream, which lasted only a dozen seconds, stopped. Professor X and Wolverine turned and left without stopping. 
Fu asterisk K. F U asterisk K. F U asterisk K. With a pale and angry face, violently cursed at the surroundings a few times, but he didn't send anyone to chase after him. This is the city of Massa. If he wanted to, he could immediately call hundreds of brothers with submachine guns and beat these two guys into a sieve. But there was no rampage, he chose to swallow his breath. Because he doesn't want to be enemies with S.H.I.E.L.D. and X-Men at the same time. But that doesn't mean he won't be angry. Fuzu turned around, looked at the trembling body, stretched out five withered fingers, and crushed his neck directly. Throw his body in a septic tank, garbage deserves to be with garbage. Yes, the body of the blonde man was carried down. With a gloomy face, Luzo took out his handkerchief, wiped the blood off his fingers, took out his mobile phone, made a call, and ordered, investigate for me, what is the origin of that guy named Li Feng, and why are there so many people here? Come to protect him, and don't do those business recently, I don't want to get into trouble with S.H.I.E.L.D. Silver Warrior and Iceman are killed, let the Griffin and Angel come to me, and when things calm down, I'm going to make a big one. On the other end of the phone, he hung up without saying anything. Fuzu took a deep breath, the anger in his eyes gradually disappeared, and he gradually calmed down. The White Queen is one of the mutants, he has heard about it, but he still can't believe it. Now it seems that even the X-Men have come forward, and this matter is almost inseparable. But what is the origin of that guy named Li Feng? After the premiere of, Die Hard, Li Feng drove back to the villa. At the moment, it was 8 o'clock in the evening, the lights in the living room were still on, and meals were already prepared on the table. The White Queen, who was wearing a dress, was sitting on the sofa, leaning on her white and tender legs, like a pure relief, watching TV with relish, which was pleasing to the eye. Honey, how do you know that I'm coming back, and you have specially prepared meals? Li Feng stepped forward directly, and hugged him roughly into his arms. Don't underestimate my connections. White Queen glanced at him and said, it's 30 minutes later than I expected. Isn't there something troublesome? Li Feng put his finger on the soft body restlessly, and said with a smile, let's go, let's have dinner together. He wasn't going to tell White Queen Shield about his troubles, it would make her suspicious. But I have to say that White Queen's cooking skills are really good. Not only did they prepare a lot of expensive ingredients, they even made a big bowl of caviar, which is very fragrant with the king crab's crab paste. Before meeting Li Feng, White Queen was a novice in the kitchen who knew nothing, and couldn't even wash the dishes. But after living with Li Feng, she can come up with some new tricks almost every day. This is one of the reasons why Li Feng loves his wife so much. Correct. During the meal, White Queen suddenly raised her beautiful eyes and said, Father called me just now and asked you not to continue making movies for the next two years. What? Li Feng froze for a moment, thinking he had heard wrong. He bought us an island in Maldives, shall we go on our honeymoon? The White Queen tilted her head, her eyes narrowed into crescents. This. Li Feng couldn't help hesitation. Two years. In two years, I am afraid that even the Battle of New York has passed, right? At that time, it would be too late to make a movie, and it might even lose a lot of fame. But he couldn't refuse his father-in-law's kindness. This is how to do. The White Queen saw Li Feng's hesitation almost at a glance, she put down her chopsticks, and asked earnestly, Honey, have you been worrying a lot lately? Hearing this, Li Feng was not nervous, and while enjoying the steak, he responded with a light smile, It's really a bit troublesome. The White Queen's slender hand holding the knife and fork paused slightly, and there was an imperceptible killing intent in her eyes, and she asked calmly, What? I can let my father handle it. No, no, it's not that troublesome. Li Feng waved his hand and said with a smile, I'm just thinking, which actor is better to have as the protagonist in the next three movies? The White Queen was obviously stunned for a moment, she didn't expect Li Feng's so-called, trouble, to be this trouble. The killing intent in her eyes was subdued, and she didn't have any intention of going into it. She said casually, I think, that black actor named Smith Will is pretty good. That's him. Li Feng made a decision on the spot, and didn't intend to continue the topic. He didn't want the White Queen to know about S.H.I.E.L.D. Father, I will tell you that I am your woman, and there is no reason not to support your career. The White Queen wiped her wrists, cleaned the dining table, took out a gift box from the room, and handed it to Li Feng. 
What's this? Li Feng slowly opened it, and inside was an expensive watch with several diamonds inlaid on the surface, which was obviously expensive to fake. Christmas present. White Queen smiled slightly, but didn't explain too much, because the diamonds on this watch were generated by her own mutant ability, and attached with a ray of telepathy mental power, if Li Feng was in any fatal danger, the diamonds would cover his whole body for protection he. If the watch is directly destroyed, she can also receive the induction immediately. Christmas, isn't there still one week left? Li Feng didn't ask much, and put the watch on his wrist. But soon he realized that this might be something that the White Queen specially gave him for self-defense. After all, White Queen's ability is a diamond change. Thinking of this, Li Feng felt a little warmer in his heart, smiled and put his arms around White Queen's waist, and said, Honey, what gift do you want? I will prepare it for you. How can you ask what others want when you give someone a gift? The White Queen snorted softly, stretched out her finger and flicked Li Feng's head, then turned and walked into the kitchen, I like everything you gave me. Li Feng was taken aback, then smiled helplessly, the love in his eyes deepened a bit. The next day, early morning, a shocking reminder sound suddenly sounded in Li Feng's brain. Ding! Congratulations to the host for the successful release of, Die Hard, and the reward, Nanoscale Regenerative Healing Factor. Brief. The reward is the nano-regenerative healing factor of the protagonist in, Bloodshot. Bloodshot. Nanoscale regenerative healing factor. Li Feng was stunned for a moment. This was the first time he had heard of such a reward. But it's not that he hasn't seen the movie. The tough guy played by Vin Diesel has always been one of Li Feng's favorite candidates for starring in action movies. However, he was not very interested in this reward. Regenerative healing factor. Sounds pretty good. But for him now, it is not of much use. When the system is just awakening, Li Feng will still be a little excited. But as time passed, he lost interest and put all his energy into making movies. He doesn't intend to save the world, so what is he in such a rush to become stronger? Life is pretty good now, sharing the same bed with White Queen every day, isn't it sweet? Thinking of his caring and charming wife, the corners of Li Feng's mouth could not help but curl up. Jingle bell. The phone rang suddenly, Li Feng glanced at the number, and lazily pressed the connect button. Boss, the company has been registered, and we need you to come here and go through the legal person procedures. Okay, I'll be right over. After hanging up the phone, Li Feng tidied up, made out with the White Queen as usual, and then drove out. After Li Feng left, two men walked into the villa without anyone noticing. One of them was pushing a wheelchair and the other was sitting in it. When the man in the wheelchair saw the figure in the living room who seemed not surprised by their arrival, he narrowed his eyes. Emma, we've been looking for you for a long time. Professor X looked at White Queen calmly and said. So what? The White Queen looked at the two of them indifferently, playing with the diamond crystals like Newtonian fluid on her fingers. Seeing this scene, Wolverine subconsciously stood in front of Professor X, showing a defensive look. It seems that you are more proficient in controlling your abilities. Professor X smiled gently and said, When your mother brought you to see me, I felt. She's not my mother. White Queen's chill suddenly soared, and her voice rose several decibels. Okay, okay, calm down. Professor X raised his hand and pressed against the White Queen. The latter was taken aback, and a look of disbelief flashed in his eyes. She felt her brain and body calm down at that moment. Obviously, this is the means of Professor X at work. The reason I came to Massa City to look for you this time is not to take you back to mutant school. Professor X propped his chin and said softly, you probably don't know that the underground emperor of Massa City is a man named Runaway. Mutant, right. Mutant. White Queen wrinkled her beautiful eyes and said, what's none of my business? It's really none of your business. Professor X shrugged his shoulders and said, but, he seems to be very interested in the man next to you. Whoosh. For a moment, the killing intent on White Queen's body soared. Don't get excited. Professor X's eyes fluctuated, he raised his hand and said helplessly, we have already gone to the place where we ran away, and warned him for you. Don't expect me to thank you. White Queen sneered and said, I still remember the scene when you controlled me in order to suppress my ability. Sorry, Emma. Professor X pushed the wheelchair to the floor-to-ceiling windows, looked at the flower beds in the villa, 
and murmured, everyone makes mistakes, and I am no exception. I am not here to claim credit for you, just to remind you that the world, seems to be starting to recover. The White Queen didn't speak. My brain is very messy recently. Professor X rubbed his temples, and said with a serious tone, the plan that Magneto and I proposed at the beginning has completely failed. We can't control the continuous gushing of mutants. Those evil, the uncontrolled guy is likely to mess up the world. Even, they will attack the same kind as you and me. Then let them come, White Queen said lightly with a flash of disdain in her beautiful eyes. Professor X smiled wryly, and asked, what if? Dot the one named Li Feng is also one of them. Click, an icicle-like diamond blade was instantly suspended above Professor X's head. At the same time, Wolverine, who was standing aside, had already pierced the bone seam with her claws, aiming at the White Queen's neck. No one dares to threaten him in front of me. The White Queen's eyes were full of murderous intent, and the surrounding temperature dropped a little because of this. Professor X was silent for a few seconds, then said softly, You have changed, Emma. The White Queen didn't speak, but the sharp blade suspended above Professor X's head sank another point. Let's go. Professor X turned the wheelchair around and dropped a few words. Emma, stay away from him, that's all I can tell you. He is not a mutant, but possesses the ability of a mutant, which is dangerous, very dangerous. If you need help with the X-Men, feel free to contact me. We are friends forever. Quote dot 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 quote. The moment the sharp blade disappeared, the steel claw retracted. Wolverine stared at the White Queen for a few seconds before following Professor X. After the two left, the indifferent White Queen took out her cell phone and made a call. Send me the information about the underground emperor in Massa City. I want to know where he is now. Immediately. A few minutes later, White Queen looked at the photos and address in her phone, and changed into clean clothes. Rampage, isn't it? I'm here to find you. The White Queen murmured softly, her cold eyes made one's heart chill. This is the original face of White Queen. During Mutant Ability's first awakening, she slaughtered an entire gang of traffickers she came across. At that time, countless corpses stood in front of her, and her whole body was stained red with blood. And she has no mercy. The dragon has reverse scales, and those who touch them will be angry. The phoenix also has reverse feathers, if you pull them out, you will surely burn yourself. After changing into clean clothes, the White Queen left the villa. Although Li Feng did not tell White Queen about the rampage and shield from the beginning to the end, it does not mean that she cannot find out through her own means. This method is the White Queen's intelligence network. Before meeting Li Feng, the White Queen was expected to be a member of the X-Men. But she didn't like being restrained, so she simply left, and secretly subdued many mutant subordinates through the mutant information obtained from the X-Men. These subordinates are all controlled by the White Queen using telepathy. As long as she says a word, everyone will die for her. So, after she found out where the rampage, mentioned by the X-Men was located through the intelligence system, she decided to solve this problem herself. At the same time, the largest nightclub in the city of Massa. Fuzu sat on an extremely soft sofa, squinting at nearly 23rd tier female stars twisting their bodies on the stage, his eyes were still extremely gloomy. X-Men, X-Men. And S.H.I.E.L.D., this was the first time he had encountered such an aggrieved situation since he became the underground emperor of Massa City. He just wanted to cheat the richest man in Massa City with a large sum of money through some unclean means. Why is it being targeted by X-Men and S.H.I.E.L.D. at the same time? Why? What is the origin of that guy named Li Feng? Half an hour ago, his men sent back all the news related to Li Feng. To sum it up in four words, it is, unremarkable. A good-for-nothing second-rate director actually made the always arrogant runaway, and suffered a dumb loss. And for some reason, there was always a strong sense of crisis in his heart. In the past, when encountering such a difficult thing, he would personally strike and kill him directly. But now, the sixth sense in his heart has always made him afraid of something. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? A second-rate director. What a joke. This made the runaway extremely uncomfortable. Perhaps, let Angel and Griffin try again. Runaway drank the XO in the cup in one gulp, and finally couldn't hold it anymore. Just as he picked up his cell phone to make a call. 
The music in the box suddenly stopped, and even the lights were dimmed. Immediately afterwards, when he ran away, he raised his head and saw the scene that made him break out in cold sweat. Those third-tier stars who were still dancing just a second ago, their heads were separated from their bodies in an instant, as if they were disconnected. Dozens of streams of blood flowed like pillars, dyeing the ceiling red in an instant. Who? Rage suddenly stood up from the sofa. He vaguely remembered that he had arranged a dozen killers to guard the door before he came. Don't look, I've killed them all. An extremely indifferent female voice sounded in the ears of the violent. Next second, countless diamond blades appeared around Rampage, sealing his body tightly. There is no doubt that as long as he takes any action, these sharp blades will easily penetrate every blood in him. Mutant, are you a mutant? Cold sweat broke out on the forehead of the violent, because the light in the box was too dim, he only saw a tall black figure vaguely in front of him, but he couldn't see his face clearly. But also as a mutant, he could easily feel that this woman's ability was countless times stronger than his own, and he could even kill himself in one breath. He didn't resist, because the White Queen didn't give him any room to resist. The moment the Diamond Blade emerged, telepathy locked the runaway soul. This is the style of White Queen. In front of Li Feng, she may be an iceberg beauty that can be easily overthrown. But in front of villains like Rampage, she is no different from a killing god. It seems that you just ran away. The White Queen sneered, with strong disdain in her beautiful eyes. I thought you were so powerful, but I didn't expect you to be just a low-level mutant. What's your ability? A thin frame. If it's only this level, you won't survive three seconds in front of me. Hearing the words, his face became pale and gloomy. He never expected that mutant would dare to make trouble for him in Massa City. Who is he? The new underground emperor of Massa City. If it were any other time, as long as he said a word, there would be nearly hundreds of people with submachine guns blocking the entrance and exit of the entire nightclub. But now, he seems to have no chance. Then come and try. Runaway gritted his teeth, almost oozing these words from between his teeth. Pitiful. The White Queen sneered, raised her finger, which was as tender as suet white jade, and slid it out of thin air. Whoosh whoosh. All diamond blades disappear in an instant. Next second, Rampage let out a sinister grin, and a layer of black armor instantly appeared all over his body, shining with a blinding black light. This is the rampant mutant ability, the outer armor formed by a total of 206 bones. White Queen saw this scene, her eyes were still cold, and she ignored it. I'm going to tear you to pieces. Rampage released all the anger, like a tiger preying on prey, propped up his body, and rushed towards the White Queen. However, whoosh, a diamond blade as thick as an arm pierced Rampage's chest with ease. Puff, Rage suddenly vomited a mouthful of blood, his eyes widened, his face full of disbelief, and he slowly lowered his head to look at his chest. There, there is a blood hole visible to the naked eye. And the diamond blade has disappeared. It's only two seconds. White Queen walked out of the shadows with a blank face and a voice like ice. It's, it's you. Rampage clearly saw the face of the White Queen, and his whole face was terrified. In the next life, stay away from a man named Li Feng. The White Queen lightly raised a finger, aiming at the violent head. Stop being so blind. Click. Countless diamond-sharp blades visible to the naked eye pierced the violent body unreservedly. And White Queen, without even taking another look, walked out of the nightclub slowly. She didn't have any interest in wasting time, and she wasn't even worried about the runaway subordinates coming to support her. She can kill dozens of mutants of this level with one hand. What is a runaway? In the private room, one person was invincible, and blood flowed like a river. The tragic new underground emperor of Massa City ran away, without even a chance to beg for mercy, and just died in the hands of the White Queen. At the last second before his death, he widened his eyes and fixed his expression at the last moment. After a long time, two figures walked into the box. Griffin, Angel, two mutants as powerful as Rampage. They received the news the moment the accident happened. But the White Queen's methods were too powerful and fast, and by the time they arrived, it was already too late. After entering the door, Griffin looked around, glanced at the bloody female celebrity corpse, frowned slightly, kicked away a corpse in disgust, turned to Angel and said, hey, look for that the guy's body. It's here. 
Angel stretched out his hand, picked up the runaway corpse, and looked it up and down. It's disgusting enough. Griffin sneered, took out his mobile phone from his pocket, took a video of the corpse, and sent it to an anonymous mailbox. Two minutes later, he got a call. Hey, boss, I warned him not to be so ostentatious, but he didn't listen. After two seconds of silence, a hoarse echo came from the phone. Bring the body back, block the news during this time, and stabilize the underground forces in Massa City. Also, that guy named Li Feng, don't move, and the family of the richest man in Massa City, don't move either. If any of you dare to disobey my order, I will peel his bones out of his flesh little by little, understand? Griffin and Angel shuddered at the same time. Yes. At the same time. After registering the company with his agent, Li Feng rushed to the next party. A fan interview session dedicated to the investors of Die Hard. As a new dark horse in the director circle, Li Feng gained a large number of young fans who love action movies through The Expendables. A large part of this depends on the outstanding performance of a dozen tough guys in The Expendables and Li Feng's narrative techniques. Even though Li Feng's international reputation is not high, in Massa City, his reputation can be said to surpass all local directors. After arriving at the destination, Li Feng walked into the recording area. This seems to be a venue specially used for filming stage variety shows, and the guest seats are already full of reporters and fans who came to interview Li Feng. Li Feng is very enthusiastic about this. After all, it is difficult for every film director to gain fans. For this reason, he carefully answered everyone's questions and revealed part of the shooting plan for Mission Impossible. The atmosphere of the whole interview scene was very enthusiastic. But after the end, Li Feng suddenly received a call from his agent. Boss, I have found a new agent assistant. Since the new company has too many affairs, I will let her assist you in the whole process of your itinerary. You will see her soon. Okay, I get it. After hanging up the phone, Li Feng walked to the backstage of the recording area, and when he looked up, he saw a red-haired figure walking slowly in front of him, dressed in a compact OL group, exuding a heart-thumping charm all over his body. Mr. Li Feng, let me introduce myself. My name is Natasha Romanoff, and I am your new assistant to your agent. I will be in charge of your itinerary and shooting plan. If you need it, I can also take care of your daily life. The red-haired girl blinked her beautiful eyes with natural charm, and moved closer to Li Feng by the way. Seeing the two twin peaks that filled his field of vision approaching him, Li Feng felt his breath warm up. This is my broker assistant. Natasha Romanoff Romanoff. Black Widow. Are you right? Li Feng felt helpless in his heart. While Natasha Romanoff is a total stunner in the Marvel Universe, he has no interest at all. With such a caring wife as the White Queen, how could he fall in love with other people at will? Mr. Li Feng. Natasha Romanoff's voice sounded again. Li Feng came back to his senses, pretended to be calm, nodded lightly and said, I see. He didn't intend to reveal Natasha Romanoff's identity directly, then S.H.I.E.L.D. would definitely find more ways to get close to him. Well, for Li Feng's indifferent response, Natasha Romanoff, who has always been among men, didn't react immediately. After receiving an order from S.H.I.E.L.D. temporarily, she specially chose an OL skirt that could highlight her figure to meet Li Feng. But why does this man look into his eyes without any greed for desire? Could it be that Li Feng is gay? Natasha Romanoff was a little puzzled. What she didn't know was that the identity of S.H.I.E.L.D. agent had been completely exposed to Li Feng. New agent assistant. This kind of existence that is closest to, personal secretary, has always been the favorite role of agents. It's just a pity that the current Li Feng doesn't have any interest in other women for the time being. There is still a beautiful wife in the family who is still not satisfied, how can he be in the mood to take care of other women? This is also the reason why Li Feng does not intend to refuse Natasha Romanoff to approach him. He was sure that Nick Fury would not let Natasha Romanoff, an ordinary human being, do anything to his, mutant, but would let her seduce him softly. Mr. Li Feng, tomorrow you will have two entertainment events, both of which are the investors of, Die Hard. They expressed their willingness to invest in your next film. Natasha Romanoff held a stack of documents in her hand, he leaned in front of Li Feng and smiled, if you have other arrangements, you need to tell me in advance, and I will negotiate with you over there. 
Glancing at Natasha Romanoff's looming scenery, Li Feng shook his head and said, I don't have any arrangements, you tell me the address tomorrow, and I'll go there by myself. I still have some private matters, so I'll leave first. I can drive to pick up. Natasha Romanoff wanted to say something, but Li Feng didn't give her a chance to continue talking at all. She stomped her feet and looked down at her majestic view, sullen. Just wait and see, Li Feng. After getting in the car, Li Feng glanced at the time on his watch. It was exactly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. At this point, White Queen should still be in the hospital to take care of her mother. Therefore, he does not intend to go back, but intend to go meet the underground emperor of Massa City called Rampage. People don't offend me, I don't offend others. A tooth for a tooth, blood for blood. This is Li Feng's code of conduct. Unfortunately, regarding those who threatened the White Queen's life, Li Feng did not intend to let it go. As for the White Queen's rampage in the nightclub, he didn't know anything about it. He has only one goal at present, which is to solve the trouble of running away and eliminate future troubles forever. At the moment, Massa Underground Gang Headquarters. Griffin and Angel summoned all their subordinates and told them that they had to leave temporarily for a period of time, and all the affairs of the gang would be taken over by them. Although the sudden news made many subordinates a little dissatisfied, after the Griffin directly used the power of the mutant to tear up a few minions in front of everyone, everyone fell silent. The most important thing for those in power is not connections, but means. After stabilizing the underground forces, Griffin and Angel will take all the property in the underground vault of the runaway as their own. In fact, a large part of these properties are the legacy left by the previous underground emperor. Countless gold, countless cash. With such huge amounts of wealth, one can imagine how profitable the underworld in Massa City is. Griffin, what are you going to do with the tens of billions of dollars? Looking at the empty headquarters, Angel lit a cigar and asked greedily. Before getting to know Rampage, both of them were professional killers who specialized in hunting down mutant to get rewards, so there was no reason not to be tempted by this pile of cash and gold. How to deal with it? Definitely swallowed it into our own stomachs. Griffin sneered, lit a cigar for himself, and sneered, that trash who ran away is not worthy to be the underground emperor of Massa City, now that you are slaughtered, you and I will have a chance. You mean, Angel's eyes lit up, he licked his lips, and said, to do that business we've always wanted to do. No, no, no. Griffin shook his shoulders, and said a little madly, hey. That thing is outdated, we have to do something we dare not do. What's the matter? Angel was a little confused. The richest man in Massa City. Griffin narrowed his eyes, played with his cigar, and said with a sneer, if we just let him go like this, wouldn't he die in vain if he ran away? Are you kidding me? Angel grabbed his collar, his face twitched and said, the boss said that if we dare to mess around, he will peel our bones out of our flesh. What are you afraid of? Griffin's face became crazy, the boss only said not to touch that guy named Li Feng and the family of the richest man in Massa City, but he didn't say that we won't let us touch the richest man in Massa City. Okay, what are you going to do? Angel also reacted, and asked, blackmail. Or blackmail. Kidnapping directly. The Griffin sneered and said, but we don't need to show up in person, I plan to spend money to find some wandering mutants and let them do it. But, Angel suddenly frowned. What if the person named Li Feng is in the same group as the person who killed the rampage? Then kill them all together. Griffin grinned, his eyes full of arrogance, don't be so cautious, Angel, remember how we slaughtered those mutants who are as useless as runaways. Then get ready to act. Angel licked his lips greedily, obviously moved, I haven't slaughtered a mutant for a long time, it's been a long time. Boom. While Griffin and Angel were planning. A loud noise suddenly came over, as if it sounded from the depths of the soul, the two of them trembled. What's going on? What happened? The griffin stood up from the sofa with a thump. Because his sensitive nose sensed the strong smell of blood in the air. Problem occurs. Angel obviously sensed something was wrong. As mutants, the two had been killers for a while at the same time, so they were extremely sensitive to this bloody smell. Come on. Come on someone. Where the hell are you going? The griffin tried to call his men. However, no one responded. In the empty headquarters, only echoes remain. At this time, 
A thin figure slowly walked into the huge headquarters. Surprisingly, with every step he took, cobweb like cracks would appear on the surrounding walls and the floor under his feet. A huge amount of oppressive force permeated the surrounding air, making Griffin and Angel instantly put on the defensive. Who are you? The Griffin cursed coldly. If you dare to take another step forward, I promise I will tear you to pieces. Obviously, the Griffin was a little restless. However, this figure did not obey his words, and even every step became heavier. Boom, 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 until the figure completely came to five meters in front of the Griffin and Angel. The walls of the entire headquarters are already covered with cracks. Even, even the marble tables placed around them collapsed into pieces. Terrifying momentum. Fake, who are you? Do you know whose territory this is? The griffin fell into rage, its eyes turned into golden balls like hawks, and its fingers turned into claws like griffins. When animals are threatened, they will unconsciously spread their wings. But soon, he froze. Because he saw the figure clearly through the light. Covered in blood, like a demon who came out of hell. There is no doubt that it was Li Feng who came. The reason why he became like this is because before he entered the headquarters, he easily dealt with more than 30 gangsters guarding the door. These 30 or so gangsters didn't last two seconds in front of him. It all depends on the Steppenwolf template's void channeling ability, which can easily crush any human. It's just a pity that he is not that familiar with the application of templates, so he can't control the direction in which the blood is sprayed. Hello, who of you is called Berserk? Li Feng grinned at them and waved, kindly. Angel and the Griffin looked at each other, then suddenly arched a pair of silver wings from behind, and directly fired nearly hundreds of scale-like sharp blades. Whoosh! Feather thorns pierced through the void, and came straight with a pungent bloody smell. That's it for now. Li Feng curled his lips helplessly, he originally wanted to sit down and talk kindly, talk about life with these two brothers. But now, it seems unlikely. The moment the sharp blade came in front of him, he raised his hand and waved at the air. Brush. A strange black light flashed, and all the feather scales turned into nothingness. Suddenly, a huge axe fell straight down from the top of his head like a divine soldier. Whoosh whoosh. The invisible hurricane tore away the surrounding walls, accompanied by the roar of the ancient wild wolf that caused cardiac arrest. What the hell is this? The griffin glanced at the looming giant axe, and his eyes were instantly burned with pain. Use all your strength and kill him quickly, or we will all die. Angel couldn't help gnashing his teeth, a look of horror flashed in his eyes. He had never seen such a powerful mutant ability. Yes, in their eyes, Li Feng is a powerful mutant. But in fact, his ability is much more terrifying than mutant. I'm going to kill you. The griffin roared suddenly, and the clothes on its upper body were instantly shattered, revealing its strong muscles, and its back became curved. Impressively a humanoid goshawk, Angel on the side naturally did not lose the win. When his wings spread out, there was a thin crack on his forehead, from which a dazzling light shot out, illuminating his whole body. Just like a fallen angel. However, Seeing this, Li Feng lightly raised his finger and pressed it down. Next second, Angel and Griffin, who were trying to fly into the air, hit the ground straight as if they had been hit hard in the back, their entire spine bent, and a mouthful of thick blood vomited out of their mouths. After less than three seconds, the two of them lost their fighting power in an instant. The translucent giant axe that was originally suspended in midair escaped into the void, and all the oppressive feeling disappeared completely, and it calmed down. Li Feng patted the dust on his trouser legs, walked in front of the two, lowered his head and looked at them expressionlessly. He asked, Who, is it a runaway? The griffin kept panting, and it took a long time for him to choke out a sentence, with blood in his mouth, he said intermittently, Rampage. Rampage, dead, died yesterday. Dot was, by a. Mutant, killed. Died. Li Feng frowned. Runaway was slaughtered. Killed by whom? Peer. Or the enemy. Or. A pretty figure appeared in Li Feng's head. He shook his head, muttered, impossible, in a low voice, and said to Griffin and Angel, since he's dead, are you here to take his place? Yes, it is. Griffin struggled to endure the pain in his body. Then, it's useless to keep you guys. Li Feng raised his hand, intending to avoid future troubles forever, lest these blind things disturb his life again. Wait, wait, can we talk? 
Angel's pupils shrank suddenly, and there was a strong desire to survive in his tone. It is impossible to resist, and the two have completely lost their fighting ability. And such a humanoid monster, who can resist? But that doesn't mean they have no chance of surviving. As bestial mutants, their self-healing ability is powerful. If this guy could have a good talk with them, he might have a chance of surviving. Talk. How do you want to talk? Buy me with money, or buy me with a woman. Li Feng squatted in front of the two with great interest, with a playful expression on his face. In the face of the absolute difference in strength, he is not afraid of these two guys playing tricks. As long as he wanted to, he could crush the two of them into pieces in an instant. You. Dot you are Mr. Li Feng, aren't you? I've seen your photo. The griffin said with a trembling tone, Rage once sent his killer to kidnap you and your wife, but failed, I'm here instead of violence, I apologize to you, we have nothing to do with that matter, it was a stupid decision made by violence, he is already dead, so there is a wrong and a debt. Can you let us go? I swear, as long as you let us go, we promise not to provoke you. Facing the deterrent force of absolute terror, the griffin no longer had the kind of fearless attitude it used to have. Instead, it looked like a thief caught by the police, trying to find a reason to clear himself of the crime. And then, go on. Li Feng was still expressionless, but he was unmoved in his heart. He actually didn't intend to save the lives of these two guys, let alone take them seriously. Li Feng still understands the truth that if the grass is cut but the roots are not removed, it will regenerate when the spring breeze blows. Moreover, after the death of Rampage, it must be these two mutants who took over the position of underground emperor in Massa City. At that time, when they regained their senses and came to seek revenge on themselves, what should they do? Angel took a deep breath, forced himself to calm down, and then prayed, Sir, I can feel your strength, the two of us are nothing in front of you, even if you kill us, what will you get? You can only get a chaotic city of Massa, and if there is no new underground emperor on the throne, the gangsters here will be in chaos. Countless robberies, crimes, thugs, even mutants, come here to run wild. As long as you are willing to let us go, you will be our master in the future, and we promise that similar things will not happen before. We can even help you kill all the troubles that bother you and your wife, do you think it's okay? Seeing that Li Feng was unmoved, the griffin quickly took over the conversation and said, Mr. Li Feng, we know that you are a great director, and we can provide you with a filming fund of 100 million US dollars. We guarantee that the benefits obtained after you let us go will reach your film and television company in the form of an anonymous account after you let us go. Obviously, both Griffin and Angel understand that if they want to live at this time, they don't want to pretend to be pitiful, just pray to Li Feng, and Li Feng will let him go. It's about bringing out enough interests, interests that make Li Feng's heart beat, and a clear, boundary. In this world, no one will resist wealth, let alone power. Facts have proved that Griffin and Angel are still smart, and their choices are not wrong. Li Feng tried to imagine the scene of killing these two guys, and found that what they said was not wrong. Massa City can be said to be the most rampant gangster place in the entire United States. If there is no powerful underground emperor to govern and formulate rules, then this place will definitely be in chaos. When the lunatics in the underground world are not bound by the rules, they will inevitably show their dirty fangs unscrupulously, gnawing on the flesh and blood of those innocent people. Although Li Feng is too lazy to take care of the underground gangs in Massa City, he is not worried that any murderer with no eyesight will come to make trouble. But this place, after all, is where he lives. He didn't want to see a mess. How annoying would it be if you went shopping with your wife in the mall and gang fights would happen every now and then. Therefore, Li Feng thought about it carefully and decided to let these two guys go temporarily. He stood up and said lightly, You two successfully convinced me. But I want you to know. In my eyes, crushing you to death is no different from crushing two ants. If you dare to trouble me again, I promise, no matter which corner you hide in, I will find you and cut off your flesh bit by bit. Hey the dog. After the words fell, Angel and Griffin fell into the ice cellar. They have heard countless sentences like this threat. But it was the only time that they felt chills all over. After leaving these few words, Li Feng stepped up, turned and left. The reason why he left threats was not because he was afraid that these two guys would dare to come to make trouble. 
If they really dared to do this, Li Feng would pass the Steppenwolf template without hesitation and torture them to death. He just wanted to see if he could catch that big fish. Rampage, Iceman, Angel, Griffin. It is absolutely impossible for so many mutants to appear around him, just a coincidence. After seeing the terrifying mutant who appeared out of nowhere like a Mephisto leave, the tense bodies of Angel and Griffin finally relaxed. The two looked at each other, and both saw a trace of fear in each other's eyes. From this moment on, they made up their minds at the same time that they would never provoke Li Feng, a second-rate director, again. Not only that, Griffin even intends to wipe out all the gangsters near the area where Li Feng lives, so as not to offend the god of death by people who don't have long eyes. Only by clearing the boundaries in this way can he rest assured that he can secure his position as the underground emperor of Massa City. So from another perspective, it may not be a bad thing for Li Feng to keep Angel and Griffin. At the very least, for a long time to come, he won't need to have friction with some low-level gangsters anymore. After all, in the Marvel Universe, things like gangsters have always been experienced monsters. As for the plan that Griffin and Angel came up with just now, it was obliterated in their minds before it was fully born. What are you kidding? With such a level of killing God beside the daughter of the richest man in Massa City, even if they had a hundred courage, they wouldn't dare to kidnap her. Tired of living, after lying on the ground for more than half an hour, Angel and Griffin's backbones gradually recovered a little. The two got up from the ground, cleaned up the blood on their bodies, and then lay pale on the sofa, gasping for breath. Do you want to tell the boss? Angel asked in a low voice with his face trembling. Are you crazy? Griffin glared at him angrily, don't think you're hurt enough. If the boss knows we screwed up, he'll be even more angry. Then. Dot how do you explain the 100 million dollars and those brothers? Explanation. No need to explain, man, what we have is 100 million US dollars, and we can earn it back in less than half a year. Cold sweat broke out on the forehead of Griffin, and his tone became a little weaker. He murmured, the key is, next how should I avoid this killing god? Too strong. A mutant of this level is too powerful. Even if it was the, boss, standing behind the Griffin, he wasn't as terrifying. Griffin and Angel had killed dozens of Delta-level mutants, but they still had no power to fight back against Li Feng. If they weren't mutants, they were ordinary gangsters. I'm afraid it won't last even a second. It took a long time before Griffin and Angel calmed down. The two paced out of the headquarters, then called all the remaining men and announced a message. From now on, all gang members in Massa City will not be able to provoke that killer named, Li Feng. Not to mention offending. After returning to the villa, Li Feng glanced at his watch. Exactly, 6 o'clock. The dusk overhead reflects the flower scene of the manor, and everything looks peaceful and beautiful. Is the matter over? A pretty figure in pajamas, like a solitary branch among flowers, came out of the living room, smiled at Li Feng, stepped forward and hugged his arm intimately. Meet some difficult people, Li Feng rubbed her tender white forehead, and said softly, you know, there are always people who want to get big directors to ask them to be leading actors in some way, but they don't I don't know how much courage and background it takes to do this business. Pissed, the White Queen was rarely amused by Li Feng's words. She didn't show any blame on her expression, but instead had a sense of satisfaction waiting for her husband to come home. As for Li Feng's safety outside, she wasn't worried at all. After all, Li Feng still has the diamond watch she gave her in his hand, and if there is any fatal trouble, she will know it immediately. Then, the two walked into the living room and sat at the dining table. Today I simmered black chicken soup for three hours, and a top quality lobster that my father entrusted someone to bring from Australia. The whole process was delivered fresh, try it. After finishing speaking, the White Queen thoughtfully served Li Feng a bowl of pasta, and poured the chicken soup with a strong fragrance. Hmm. Li Feng tasted it without even thinking about it, and exclaimed, it tastes really good. White Queen smiled slightly, it seemed that only Li Feng's compliment could make her happy. Honey, how's your father's business doing recently? Li Feng asked while drinking the soup, is there anything I can do for you? That's not necessary. The White Queen shook her head and said, you know, my father is a strong person, and he is responsible for all his work arrangements. 
Then let me ask you a question, if you are free, will you come to be the heroine in my movie? Li Feng suddenly changed the subject, and asked with a smile, definitely, I definitely won't have any passionate scenes with the male lead, I am very possessive. As long as it's you, I'm willing. White Queen pursed her lips and replied, what do you plan to do next movie? How about gang drama? Li Feng casually mentioned. White Queen froze for a moment, and asked, a gangster drama? Is it the same as, The Expendables? No, it's not the same. Li Feng shook his head and said, maybe, some sci-fi elements will be added. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.